Yo, yo, what up? Jeff Joseph back with another video. Listen, you see the thumbnail, you see the title, so you already know what I'm about to talk about. But before I do, just wanna make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video because as soon as we get to a thousand subscribers, the sooner I can get this cash giveaway. But today, I'm gonna do a review of the International 4300. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna start off with the interior because I know it's kind of windy outside, so. Go ahead and get in here. And let's talk about the 4300. All right, y'all. So, like I said, this is the International 4300 with the Allison transmission and the Duastar engine with 255 horsepower. Now, listen. If you like me, you're probably confused trying to figure out 255 horsepower. That's it, really? Yes, that's really all it is. <laughs> I mean, I've had cars with over 400, 440 horsepower, so um, it was very confusing to me how this truck only has 255 horsepower it does do the job it doesn't do more than 74 miles per hour um and takes a little while to get there if you you know you got nine thousand almost ten thousand pounds on the truck but it does do the job um you got to keep it regularly maintenance every twenty five thousand miles you need to have that oil change and filters change uh, i'm not sure how often you're supposed to change the um the oil in the transmission maybe somebody could drop that in the comments below if they know um but i did have to do that recently I had to get that taken care of i think it's like maybe once a year i don't know but it was time because the uh the engine light came on well not the engine light but the first first available light came on and was like you got to get that taken care of so i went ahead and got it taken care of because i'm not trying to be stranded on nobody's road ever um so got the key trucking they actually just changed the name to motive or some weird thing like that not really sure why they would change it from keep trucking but they did it's the eld monitor the uh electronic monitor system i got set up um it has heating and air conditioning it works really well blast you out of here radio um works good too no bluetooth so you got to have the aux cord i definitely have the aux cord because it is necessary um, got the the parking brake is necessary uh, because there is no park there's only reverse drive so on and so forth um, definitely necessary so you got to make sure your parking brake is set every time <laughs> got the cup holders got the ox core got the charger um, I got this I got to do a review on these people because they overcharge me totally unfair um, and I didn't catch it I just went ahead and paid it uh, got money I keep money everywhere because I'm always manifesting more always teaching my subconscious mind that money is all around me I just need to go get it keep a flashlight got my Amazon badge a little clip knife never know um, keep me a compliancy binder uh, it has everything from, you know, my DOT number, MC number, my letters that confirm that I'm official. Got the, everything you would need for a DOT stop is in here, right? Got the keep trucking, ELD, um, troubleshooting thing in there. Got the insurance, got the COIs in there. Uh, what else? Let's see. Medical card, registration, lease agreement. It's all in there, right? It's all in there. And then I have up here, I have my business binder where I keep all of my BOLs, everything related to pertaining to the business. Um, keep track of everything that's, you know, relevant. Notepad, keep notes, another notepad. So all kind of relevant information, um, checks, whatever. All right. Also, Keep um, your triangle reflectors. Got some coolant over there. Got a tarp. You never know. Um, also have some engine alive under there. Fire extinguisher. Let's see. Shit. Got the fire extinguisher down there. And in that box, I got some tools and some more triangles that are kind of crushed up under the seat. Which brings me. Hop on down. Brings me to the seat. Okay, I got my vest right here. Amazon that's a whole nother story but brings me to the seat and the seat so the actual truck itself is not air ride right so 
that's what a lot of people don't like about this particular model because it is not an air ride truck so it makes it a little bit stiff but the seat itself is air ride so the driver is usually more comfortable than anybody else who would be here it really is not that bad to me because you just kind of just bounce with it down with the bumps right so not a big deal to me at least but it is a rougher ride than uh some of the other competitors out there got the depth tank not sure how much it holds i think it holds maybe five gallons got the 70 gallon tank which the fuel <laughs> it burns out really fast uh on a full tank you probably can drive about six and a half seven hours um seven and a half if you're really pushing it uh, probably already know if you watched the first videos it is a 26 foot box truck that i am leasing got the panel for the light switch parking lights and headlights this is for the um the actual lights the panel lights that go up here the brightness of them and <clears throat> over here we got the six gear uh disable button and the parked uh, regeneration um, which I've never used it always just does it while I'm driving so uh, cool show y'all the back this is for the lift gate right like you have to have that on to operate the lift gate it sends power to the lift gate it also turns on a cargo light um, but yeah let me go ahead and show y'all I showed y'all in the first video um, how this lift gate works but I'll go ahead and show y'all again Y'all want to see me struggle through this? All right, y'all. So the point of me showing y'all the lift gate again is show you that it is a flat surface. It's smooth connecting from the back of the truck. So you can get it off very easily, get pallets off, whatever you need to get off the truck very easily. Um, usually uh, when you OTR they unload and load you anyway so you don't really need this OTR but when you are doing Amazon uh, relay sometimes you get to some post offices some locations that don't have a loading dock so you got to use your lift gate um, it can get a little scared because Amazon doesn't do that good of a job at wrapping these pallets so it's a little flimsy by the time you get there and then they stack really tall and they're I mean they're not heavy but they heavy for the way that they're wrapped if that makes any sense but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put this back and then i'm gonna show y'all the inside one second all right y'all that lift gate is kind of heavy too it seems like it keeps getting heavier and heavier i don't really know why but it feels like it so you got this I usually keep it locked, but it's unlocked because I know I was gonna be showing y'all this today. But simple little latch, unlatch it, and then slide it on up like that. Climb on up here. So I know y'all probably looking at these straps like that ain't gonna hold nothing. I do have each e track straps over here. Got some more back there, I'll get to it in a second. Uh, I use these mostly for like small things, like small boxes or you know, little knickknack things that they like throw in. Or I'll use it to secure the pallet jack um, on their pallet once it's already on the truck. But definitely gotta make sure you have some um, reliable, sturdy e tracks um, And like I said, I got some more back here in this little crate box things I have on top of the pallet jack. There's more, Let's see. So y'all can see. Got these for furniture, cover that up. More straps, four E-Track straps. More, I just haven't <laughs> dealt with them since the last time I had to use them. Uh, when people unload your truck, they don't always take care of your stuff. And they didn't, I guess, either they didn't know how or they didn't properly undo those. So it's a little tangled up. So I got to, I got to untangle uh, those, those straps. Uh, but you're also going to need a pallet jack. This pallet jack I got is brand new. I bought it brand new, rather. Um, I did not pay full price 
for this pallet jack, but it is brand new. Pallet jacks could be easily $500, $600 brand new. Um, I actually paid $280 cash for this um, at a freight company that I was at. They were selling them, so I bought one. I had a previous pallet jack that went out it didn't go all the way to the to the ground like you would need it to to go under pallets. So I had to replace it with this one. Um, do not buy a brand new pallet jack, guys. Not for the full price, at least. You don't need to spend six hundred dollars on a brand new pallet jack. If you do want a brand new pallet jack, you can go to Harper Freight. There's Harper Freights all over there, like the Walmart of uh, like heavy duty supplies and stuff like that. Um, you can get one for like 300 bucks, brand new with there. If not, go on Facebook Marketplace, go or Craigslist or something like that and find you a used pallet jack. It does not have to be new, it does not have to be perfect. Just wanna make sure that the wheels are good and that it actually works properly. Uh, but it does not have to be a brand new pallet jack. But yeah, other than that, you know, this is 26 foot cargo space box truck. Make sure you got proper straps. And uh, yeah, the door, door's in good shape. Um, yeah, this is it. It's back to the big burka. Let me know what y'all think. All right, y'all, but that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the international trucks. Me, I have never had any real issues with the truck. Um, some minor things that I needed to take care of, which I would consider to be like uh, routine, but like engine and transmission wise, it runs like a champ. Never had any real issues. Um, I feel like if you take care of the international trucks, it'll take care of you. The only thing that I guess would be mechanical is there is a clamp. I can show y'all the clamp real quick. But there was like a clamp that broke loose or came loose um, that had the exhaust kind of smoking. <laughs> smoking at a truck stop and I was like what the hell but uh, got that taken care of it was no big deal but yeah let me show y'all so under the truck <laughs> so here we are these are brand new uh, but here's the clamp that I'm referring to this clamp actually came loose um, it didn't fall off so I was able to recover it so I just basically had it re-wrapped with this like sealant foil type material and then had the clamp put back on there tightly and correctly and um, was back to being good as new. But otherwise, <laughs> no issues with the truck. And like I was saying, I feel like if you take care of the truck, it'll take care of you. It's as simple as that. Um, I feel like I talked about pretty much everything there is to know. Again, this is a 2016 international truck uh, with the Dual Star engine, 255 horsepower, the Alice transmission, 26 foot long and 13 foot high, uh, 102 foot ceiling, 96 foot at the door. Uh, I'm sorry, 96 feet at the door, and eight and a half wide. So that's it, man. Uh, let me know in the comments what y'all think, and also let's get this get this video to let's say 150 200 likes let's say 200 likes let's get this video 200 likes let's get the subscriptions up so that i could give away this cash giveaway uh, when we get to a thousand subscribers i don't know what's taking so long i feel kind of played honestly because you know videos are getting like four thousand some views watch time is up uh, but y'all not subscribing i feel played like y'all don't like me or something like what is it let me know but that's it man that's it for this video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm about to go back over the road. Maybe I'll make a video about why Amazon is so trash because uh, I tried to give them another chance, y'all. And Amazon just keep on playing on me. But catch y'all in the next video. Jeff Joseph, I'm out.